Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, and in this video I'm going to cover SAP's Cloud for Customer, specifically ticket management. So we're going to go through a service life cycle related to tickets. So we'll start by creating a service ticket with one user. That user will, will then assign that ticket to another user. We'll log in as a user, and then we'll see that they have that new ticket assigned to them, and then we'll carry out the work and complete the ticket and then we'll go view the key performance indicators related to ticket management. So I'll start logged in as this user, user Eddie Wright, and in this scenario he has the administrative role, or administrator role, and so his layout will look a little bit different. He has a lot more options from his home screen to view different information. So to begin, he will have received an email about a defective product that needs work to be done on it. So he'll need to create a ticket. Now there's two different ways that you can create a ticket from this area. So we can go one way is by clicking on one of these tabs up here. We'll go to the service tab. And then from here we can go to tickets, view all of the tickets or just related tickets depending on what information you choose from this drop down. So we'll just leave this on tickets from the last seven days. We can also we can click on new to create a new ticket from this area. So that's one way. Another way is that we can use one of these quick links over here. So these allow you to do anything from quickly creating a new account to creating new new customers, new contacts, new leads, anything um, related to this sales process. So we can also click on new ticket over here to create a new ticket. So we'll add in a description. Add a subject. Put in one of our customers. then add in an associated product. So in this case we'll just add in a one of our refrigerators that this company sells. Then we can choose a priority. So depending on how how urgent this is we can put that in in this drop down. In this case we'll put in immediate and then assign this to a particular agent. Now in this case, I'll assign this to user Julianne Bayer, who's part of the mobile service unit for this company. And so when she logs in, she'll see this ticket come up and she'll be able to deal with it appropriately. So I'll begin to type her name and we'll see other users come up and we can just go down and click on her name. And then I'll go ahead and save this ticket. And this will create the ticket. From here, we can open it. We can also see that it's now come into our feed of tickets from the last seven days. Now I'll log out of this user and then log in as Julian Bayer who will then deal with this ticket appropriately. So I'll log out. And then I'll log back in and this user's screen will look slightly different. She'll have less access to different areas within the system because she's not set as an administrator. So I'll enter in the user ID and password. And she'll first be brought to this newsfeed again, similar to our last user. But from here, I'll go ahead and click on this home icon right here, and this will bring us to the home screen. This will show us a variety of different key performance indicators related to this particular user. Now, as an authorized reseller of SAP's Cloud for Customer, the Marvel Consulting can implement a solution like this that's relevant to different users and different roles within the company. We can pull in different tiles and different KPIs associated with those roles. So here on this user's home screen, we can see a variety of different information. We have our news feed up here, 
we have other feeds that pull in news from other RSS feeds. And then we can also view information related to tickets down here. Now this user can see that there are currently 34 tickets assigned to her. And if we scroll down, we can view other information as well as other different charts and graphs too. So we can, from here, I'll just go ahead and click on tickets assigned to me to view all the tickets. And one of these will be the ticket that we just created. So this will pop up and these are arranged by changed on date. So the one that we just created should come up top here and it does. So we can click on this to view the, view the ticket information and deal with it. So this will come up. We'll see the product and the company associated with this ticket over to the left. We can see status associated with this product and then everything related to it. So description and subject. Now, when this particular user goes out and works on this product, we can add in labor and other, other parts or items to this list here. So to do so, I can just click on Add. And we can view a variety of different uh, products and services that are associated with this ticket. So in this case, we'll say that the refrigerator was missing a bushing. We can add that in. And we'll just add in one. And then we'll also add in the service associated with installing that bushing to the refrigerator. So we can also change this drop down and arrange these by category. And we can look for the labor category, which is right here. And we'll just add in standard labor to this line item. We'll click OK. And so now the work is done for this ticket. The ticket is fully finished. We can go to finish work for this ticket. If there's more work that needs to be done, we can also create an, a follow-up ticket. And if there's more pricing related to this, we can create another sales quote, follow-up sales quote. In this case, we'll just go to finish work since the work is done. And then we will change the status of the ticket to completed. And we can see that these information messages down at the bottom are letting us know that these have been changed from open to completed. Now I'll go ahead and save this. You can see that everything's been saved, so I can X out of here. And now in our queue, we no longer see, we should no longer see that this ticket is listed as open. So once I refresh this, we'll see that the ticket has been changed to completed. So we'll just pull that up. And it's no longer in the queue because the ticket is finished. So we'll just take a look at all tickets. And we will be able to view that completed ticket from here. And here it is. And we can see that this is now completed. In addition, you might have also noticed that we now have a indicator over here for our notifications. This will come up letting us know that the ticket has been changed to completed. We also will see that when this ticket was first created, we, now, we also had a notification letting the user know that the ticket was assigned to them. So we have those two notifications related to that particular ticket. Now when we go back to our home screen, we should only see 33 tickets assigned to this user. Right now we have it as 34. Once we refresh the screen, we should see that change updated. Yep. And so there we have, we can see that there are 33 tickets assigned to this particular user. So that's just one of the key performance indicators on this, on this home page here. Another one that we can take a look at is this average response time tile over here. So right now we can see that's just telling us that it's 79.8 minutes average response time. But we want to know a little bit more information about that and see maybe what ma managers are associated with different response times. So to do that, I can click on this and then we'll be brought to our analytic area here. 
where we can edit this and view this in chart formation. So right now, this is very basic and not telling us very much. It's just giving us that 79.8. So we can add in more columns to this table. And to do so, we can just choose from this drop down and click and drag to edit the table. So now we can see what the average response times are in minutes by different managers. We can also view this in table format, I'm sorry, in chart format, and also put that right next to the table as well. So we can put that into a pie chart, but this isn't that great of a chart, so we can also change this to a different layout. So we can change this to a bar chart. And so that's just one way you can click on one of the KPIs from your home screen and then quickly edit information to view it in different formats. So this was a brief overview of ticket management within SAP's Cloud for Customer. And to recap, what we did was create a ticket from one user. That user then assigned it to the appropriate, the responsible user for that ticket. That user, in this case, Julianne Bayer, logged in, saw that she had a new ticket, completed work related to that ticket, then closed it out. And then she was able to go to this home screen and view different key performance indicators related to tickets. For more information on SAP's Cloud for Customer, or to see how Blue Marble Consulting can implement a solution like this for you, please call one of the numbers listed here, or visit our website at simple-sap.com.